Hello everybody, welcome back to a new Boosters and Boxes. Today, another mail day opening, and seeing as it's getting more and more frequent here on the channel, I thought I'd come up with a little jingle for just this. So, uh, here we go. Hoo-hoo! It's mail time. Okay, so, moving on to the actual opening right now. Um, I have four packages, or I received four envelopes in the mail, and uh, I, I removed the envelopes because of my address and everything, and obviously one of them already had uh, the card on top, so not a whole lot of protection there. Although it comes in this uh, Ultra Pro sleeve or top loader, but yeah, wasn't the best protected, but hey, it, it's, it's, it made it in one piece, so that's important. So here obviously we have a Kulamon, um, a foil, the alternative foil, let me just get him out here, as a matter of fact. <sighs> Um, back then in the Digimon starter deck, the Digimon Digi Battle starter set that is, uh, there was around 30 cards out of 62 or 64 from that starter set that also got a different print in alt foil print, meaning that they are all holographic. So uh, very, very nice. Um, they can be, you know, distinguished of course by the holo foil, but also because they have an S in the numbering. So if they have an S, you know, it's from that. Uh, from the old set. These were also released only in a later print of Series 1, the booster set, uh, Series 1 and Series 2. And there were like six cards per print. I'm not quite sure. It's it's still like nobody really knows what cards came in what box. There was a couple of boxes out there that we know of because it says on the box what cards are included of these uh, hollows. But some are still a mystery up to today. So um, I'm not quite sure if Kulamon is, but, um, you know, they still roam around the internet. And I still had to have him, so here we go. Kind of a bit of uh, bit of wear here on the top of the back. But uh, the card itself, a uh, bit of scratching here as well. But the card itself is still in a very nice condition. So um, I'll take it, you know, it's just for my binder, just for the collection. It's still in a decent shape, so I will I will accept that, so... Very, very nice. Um, and then, oh, here we go. Thank you for your purchase. I hope you are close to a full Digimon card collection. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I know which ones these are. At least I think I know. And we're going to keep those for last. I also have three of these. With some numbering. And then I also have this little, uh, little package here. Which comes from someone that you may already know if you're familiar to the channel. So I'm going to open these first. Um, they come in like this cob. I, I want to see. I hope they're sleeved at least, because otherwise these will really be a very bad way to store cards and to ship them out. So, uh, yeah. Now I did, of course, also made a video on how to properly um, stock your cards and everything. Jesus, how the hell is this? It's like an IQ puzzle here almost. Now oh, the bottom is actually sealed. That's interesting. Just gonna. Okay, it is sealed. That's good. That's good. Still. Interesting mechanism of storing them. Uh, here we go. Here's the first one. We have a Shogun Geekamon first edition. So the previous or one of the previous mail days, I think I know uh, I mentioned that I'm trying to complete a master set of the series one of the Digimon Digi Battle card game, and um, they have a unlimited version as well as a first edition. I still needed a couple of the first editions and a couple of the unlimited ones. Um, so I'm slowly starting to collect them and I got a bunch of them right now in this video or still on the way. So I didn't need that many, but uh, still are a couple of them on the way. So yeah, that's the first one in a very nice condition. Got a bit of edge wear there at the top, but uh, you know, nothing too major. Nothing too major. That was the first one. I think, Jesus, which one was it? <sighs> okay. <It's>, it's <laughs> this is a very strange way of, yeah. I don't know. I'm just gonna let me just just open these and then we'll continue. Okay, I have opened the other two, so let's have a look. Again, two more uh, Digimon cards, uh, also to complete my master set, and they are. Oh, we have a Shalmon. Yeah, look at that, huh? Got a beautiful first edition Shalmon. That is beautiful. That is very very nice. Again, a bit of edge wear there. Um, yeah. But still in a decent condition, really. And then we have a hollow. I have honestly no clue who that is. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Now I remember. Yeah, Metal Atomol. There we go. Now I remember. Also in a first edition. This one has some stains on him. You can clearly tell. Like someone schist on this. I mean, 
It is a very sexy monkey, so I can't blame him. But uh, nah, a bit unfortunate. Other than that, the card is still in nice condition, but I'm not quite sure. It's like it's printed in, really. I think that's actually... I don't know. It feels it, yeah. I, there's no extra extra like touch to it. It don't feel that it's that. It's just stained. So I think this is something in the printing process that must has, have happened somehow. That is weird. I haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, it's not like a stain that, that from like salsa or something, you know, that you sometimes get from old collections. Because the card itself is in name and condition as well. So that is. Very strange, very strange, but uh, yeah, lovely though. Metal Atomon still needed that one as a first edition as well. So there we go. Those three, and then we move on to uh, to this package right here, um, which is normally, if I'm not mistaken, from our beloved Mr. Base, who I have traded with before. Uh, I've made quite some videos. He made some videos on stuff that... Uh, I have sent him, so make sure to check him out. He has a lot of Digimon cards uh, as well. Got a, even a website on this whole Digimon Digi Battle stuff. So uh, definitely worth the check. Um, I not quite sure. okay. Here we go. I've got a little note, as always. Let's have a look. To Mr. Boopy, once again, thank you for trading and helping me with my collection. I got some sealed serial promo. Pa Ooh, nice. I know you have a complete set, but thought you might enjoy opening the packs. Enjoy. Thanks, Mr. Bass. <laughs> I always call him Mr. Bass, and now he calls himself Mr. Bass as well. <laughs> That's awesome. Soon he will have to change his name. Okay. Damn, that, that's very nice, though. The serial promos. Yeah, okay. So I reckon those are the uh, Trace promos that he refers to. So this is a sealed one. Okay. Oh, that dude, that's nice. That's nice. We're going to keep that one as last. Here we go. Okay, yeah, here we go. So, um, again, for my master set to complete, our beloved base, or John, he uh, he had a couple of the uh, first editions that I still needed, um, both doubles and cards that he actually didn't have as a double, but he found it okay if I sent him my unlimited ones in replace, uh, in replacement for, for his first edition ones. So... Um, that is very generous of you. Thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, do make sure to check out his video because I also gave him a couple of extras just for that reason. Also, um, make sure to check it out. But uh, anyway, let's let's see what we have. So we have Andromon first edition. Very lovely. Oh, Angel Woman first edition. Yeah, there we go. One of my favorite Digimon. Oh, lovely. That's beautiful. We've got oh Leomon also first edition. Oh, that's beautiful, man! Thank you so much. Nice. Metal Greymon also as a first edition. This is one of the cards that, and I think the Leomon, if I'm not mistaken, that I uh, sent my unlimited versions for. So um, very very nice. Bit of edgeware here, but uh, you know, that's totally fine, man. Don't worry. <laughs> I really really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And that oh yeah yeah, and another one of the. Uh, the the hollows from the series one or two uh from the the starter set that i still needed now uh, this one is a bit uh, damaged he did mention that so no worries there but for now he will make a nice addition to my collection as i still needed him i actually ordered him but he got lo he got lost in the mail a couple of months ago so i still needed him and i also sent him one of mine that was also rather damaged so uh yeah can really tell in the back quite some edge wear there but you know Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. And then uh, we we have this the a sealed promo pack for the cereals promo. And oh, okay, okay, this is nice. A Snymon, dude, awesome. Very nice because my Snymon has like an ink stain on him or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, so that is very very lovely. I actually was thinking about ordering a new one that I saw, but now I don't have to because we got a sealed one. I don't, I don't even know how many there are in this, really. I think three or four. Ah, I kind of want to keep it sealed, but dang it. You will have to tell me where you got these, though. I know you opened a bunch of them before, but where the hell do you find these? I know they're printed, they were printed in uh, the UK, so uh, maybe you found a, like, a second-hand website over there somewhere. You will have to tell me. 
because I would love to have some sealed packs as well. That would be awesome to open one day. But yeah, I do have a sealed, uh, or a, a, not a sealed, but a complete set. Also thanks to, uh, to Base, as the first um, trade that we actually did, he traded one of his uh, doubles that I still need, the last card that I still needed, which was a Serial Promos Pete Mom. So um, absolutely beautiful and thanks to him I managed to uh, complete it but here we go let's see who we have so we have a Snymon again beautiful because now I can replace mine now we have ooh, a Suramon beautiful very nice and then we have a hey, Elikmon look at that <laughs> this one has a bit of uh, a here at the pack but yeah these packs are uh, rather flimsy and thin so and the cards themselves are also very, very thin. I actually made a video on all of these um, and show you how you can difference them from the regular ones. So uh, make sure to watch that video if you want to learn more about them. But I still have a lot of them as well. But yeah, having some spare mint copies now will be a nice addition to my collection. So thank you very much for that, Mr. Base. <laughs> Okay, and then we uh, we get to this. So a personal little note from uh, Florian. Not my German friends, but this is actually uh, a package from La France, French cards. So uh, if I say that, a couple of you might already have an idea what could be included, but uh, it is gonna be quite interesting. And I wanna be very careful here because these cards cost me quite a lot of money. <laughs> Although still below the uh, normal market price for them although uh, one of them is in a very very bad shape but I still needed him so I thought you know he will he will do for now until I find a uh, a new version of him a mint copy this is one of those spots where I might cut the video but then again I don't want to, I kind of don't want to so you can tell that I haven't messed around with the video oh Jesus okay here we go Gonna take him out. Oh, all right, yeah. So let's have a look at the backs first. So um, these two are still cards I still needed. The right one is uh, in a very, very nice condition. This one, however, yeah, you can tell um, he has definitely seen a lot of better days. Quite battered, really. But uh, the card that we have is. Apokarimon for the French Digimon Digibattle Series 3 exclusive to the French language. Very, very lovely. Yeah, very crappy condition, um, but I, I still needed him. And for the amount of money that he was being sold, I didn't hesitate. I thought, you know, let's just go for it. I can always uh, replace him later, but I still needed him. So for now, he will find his spot in my collection and do that is beautiful oh look at that hollow nice so uh, I, I currently only need a magna angelmon from the set and a millennium on everyone else I already have because not too long ago I got myself a uh, what's its name uh, Vanomeo this and gold Ramon but I think this video will be uploaded before that one so I uh, just a little it's a little little tease a little spoiler but damn look at that Gorgeous, yeah. Too bad about the condition, but you know, for the price, it is, uh, it's definitely worth it. And as I said, I can always replace him later. So, beautiful, beautiful. And then, the card that is in a near mint condition, from what I can tell, really. This one is uh, also from that set. And, well, I kind of already spoiled it just now, saying which cards I still need it. Because, ladies and gents... Oh... Oh, Rose Malt. Yeah, dude, that is a beautiful condition, really. Wow. Just a couple of scratches here and there on the surface, but still, the card itself is beautiful. Yeah, you can see a bit of a scratch here in the corner. But other than that, is it really is in a very beautiful state. The surface of the card itself is actually pretty damn clean. Just some small scratches, but uh, again, for the price that I paid for this, obviously, they both set me back quite a bit, really. 
But uh, for this card right here, I could, for, for the right page, I could easily get double. So, um, oh, dude, that is nice. Wow. <sighs> oh, Jesus. I spent a lot of money this month on, on, on cards, but well, well worth it. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Okay. All right, ladies and gents, um, that will be it for today then. Yeah, oh, <laughs> fuck me, gorgeous. Anyway, I've got more mail coming in, so another mail day will be coming very shortly as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, thank you again, Base, for uh, sending me your cards as well, as well as every other sender, because it seems like they come from some nice collections, because they're in nice conditions, so uh, I do appreciate that. But yeah, thanks all for watching, and uh, we will see each other in a next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.